Do you have abdominal separation or diastasis recti? Let's do a self-check just now. Diastasis recti, that is where those two muscles, when we talk about the rectus abdominis, that's when they have separated. Now, it's the connective tissue that connects those muscles that has weakened or stretched because of the pregnancy. How can you tell? Let's do a check just now. All right, have your feet flat, knees bent. Often it's near to the belly button that you want to be checking first. So you'll lift your head without engaging through your core. And you can place your fingers like this and you can feel for a distance between these two ridges or your six pack muscle. You can go from the belly button and then you can work your way up and see if there is more than one finger distance. You can work your way back down as well. Just find the area that has the biggest distance and relax. The other thing that you're looking for is the depth. So when you lift, can you get a bounce back? See, I get quite good bounce back with my connective tissue, but some women feel like their fingers go all the way down and then release. Now, okay, once you've done your abdominal check, I also want you just to see how your body is functioning when you're doing your movements. So when you do a uh, lift of your head or of both feet off the ground, you need to really make sure that there's no doming or no pressing upwards. When we're talking about our exercises, you want to be able to lift your pelvic floor, engage and feel like there is a wrap around your torso so that when you're lifting one leg, you can maintain that. But then when you're lifting the second leg, you want to still maintain that. What can happen is if you don't engage and you lift and then you lift and you get a push upwards. And that's what you want to avoid because that pressure is not regulated and it's going to press down onto your back. So whether you're working with double leg work, head lifted, you're working with some extension, all of these things can work with challenging through your core. Now there's always going to be a slight press up because of that intra-abdominal pressure, but can you regulate it and can you not let it affect your body and put extra pressure particularly into your back? That's why when you do your exercises, it's not a matter of challenging yourself to go, I need to do a plank for a minute or three minutes or five minutes. You need to listen to your body and not compare your body to somebody else's. When you're looking at progressing your strength, so it might be you don't have abdominal separation, you might not be peeing yourself when you cough or sneeze or go for a jog, so the pelvic floor is working quite well, but postpartum, and that means any time after you've had your baby, at least for that first year, you don't want to be putting too much pressure and testing your body out too much because those symptoms or those issues could come about maybe six months, 12 months, 18 months after you've had your baby. The hormones also have an impact. So if you're breastfeeding your baby, that can also have an impact on what's happening for you. And there might not be that firmness if you're still breastfeeding your baby because of the hormones. So don't be hard on yourself feeling like you've got to get rid of all the, the soft bits completely. The hormones play a big part in this, as does the change in your hormones when you stop breastfeeding. So be mindful, say it's you know 12 months after you've had your baby, if that's when you're stopping to breastfeed, there's a change in your hormones. So just be mindful. This is often when a lot of women do experience prolapse or issues because of those changes and 
they haven't supported themselves with recovery exercises in that lead up. So just something to remember. In our core rehab program, I don't just show you how to do your pelvic floor exercises. I show you specific techniques to help heal abdominal separation and pelvic floor issues. No more embarrassing leaks. Let's get your body confidence back and your pelvic floor strong. And then next, you become a stronger mama. With our cardio and strength workouts, focusing on upper body, core, lower body, and your glutes. What are you waiting for? Come and join me and other mamas just like you in our ProActive community today.